All right, welcome to lesson 5.03. Uh, here I'm going to give you a little practice on uh, identifying key features of exponential functions and comparing different exponential functions uh, with one another. So uh, before you go ahead and dive into these problems, a good thing to do is to remind yourself some of the keys and the key steps that we talked about for visualizing graphs of exponential functions. Uh, I would spend about five to ten minutes uh, going over those and identifying the key transformations uh, that each parameter uh, causes. And then go ahead and dive into these problems and that will make these a lot easier. Alright, so here's problem one. Uh, go ahead and give it a try on your own first and I'm going to give you a couple of tips uh, in about five seconds here, so press pause. Okay, a um, couple of things. The number one tip that I have is to come up with a game plan before uh, you dive into these problems. So think about how you would um, delineate between different uh, exponential functions. What are some of the key features that you look for? And look at the graph and see what key features you notice about the graphs. For example, I notice that there are both examples of exponential growth and exponential decay. Once I've figured out which are, are which, I can then match up which uh, functions would be exponential decay and which would be exponential growth. And then I would compare those functions with one another. Uh, so for example, uh, I can see between E and F, I can see that the difference between E and F is the steepness of the graph. And so I'm going to be looking for um, a graph for E which will be steeper uh, than would be the graph for F. All right, so here's problem number two. We've seen one similar to this, uh, so you've heard my advice here. Uh, you're given a bunch of characteristics uh, of a function. I would recommend a visualization here. So if you're good at visualizing in your head, great, but I would strongly encourage you um, to use the characteristics here to sketch a graph, and that will help you solidify um, your decision on what the values of A and B, uh, what has to be true about them. All right, here's problem number three. You want to state if each of the following functions models exponential growth or decay, and you need to justify your answer. Now, I'm going to give you two options here for justifying your answer. You may either sketch a graph of the function, or you may write an explanation. I would uh, try at doing one uh, of each at least, um, and then you know, kind of deciding which one uh, you think is easiest and makes the most sense to you. And then I would use that as your justification going forward. Okay? One more problem to go. Let's take a look. Last problem, very similar to problem number two. Go ahead and give this one a try. Make sure that you have written um, out all of the key information for each of the problems and that your solutions are good to go so that we can move on uh, to trying some new things uh, in class on Monday.